Okay, so I may or may not have just found a better Roblox client optimizer or FPS unlocker. Um, I will join this game so you see what my frame rate is usually like. So, normal FPS, just on vanilla, you see it looks at 60 FPS. If you go over here and just get the get the thing, uh, you can. Okay, we are joining the game. We are going to show you how much I get. Um, 180 FPS, 200 FPS at the max graphics. If I go down a little bit, you will see I get 200. But that's not the thing that I wanted to show off. Um, I found this thing, block strap, which is essentially just RCO, but you can actually do customize it. So you can like download this. Um, it's open source. It's it's pretty pretty known, but not really that known. Um, I actually really like this tool. So if you go over here and just click this, open it up. Uh, again, it's going to do the same thing as RCO. That's because the you know, it doesn't know this file. So you this is what will come up. So you will see block strap menu. You will see that you can. Do stuff with this, you can have mods, you can have everything, you can do whatever you want. You might have to keep this enabled because certain features require this, like voice chat or the camera thing. Oh, you bro, look at my mount! The, 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 the hell. Um, uh, you can see server location. Uh, if you want to know where your server you are in is located, you can click this. Um, you can have a rich presence, so you can actually customize your rich presence and you can actually make it so that people can join you if you use Discord. It's actually really useful. You can actually enable this thing, which allows you to have more than one Roblox instance. If you go over to mods, you can enable the old oof sound. You will see many stuff, uh, you can disable the the desktop app, you, you know, when you close Roblox, you will see that the, uh, try the new Roblox, now, Roblox app, um, you can emulate the old character sounds, you can use the old, I haven't used this yet, so, I don't know, um, you can go to fast la flags, and, yeah, I'll, if you want, you can have a 500 FPS, I will set it to 1000, so you know what, uh, you can change the uh, escape menu, so if you want, you can have the 2015 escape menu. Or 2020 or 2023. Personally, I keep it at default because I don't really care. Um, you, you can change your rendering mode. So this is where, this is where Roblox RCO actually lacks. Because you sh on RCO, it is, I think it's just, does the default one, which is direct 3D whatever. Uh, you can change it to these two. Personally, it's it's for me. It's this one that's best. But if your GPU doesn't support it, you can use this one or or this one. Uh, personally, this one does the best for me, so I'll ju just use that. This is for the higher quality. You can preserve rendering by this display scaling. Um, you can go over here and just have the same amount of stuff that RCO has. You, you get the point, you, you, the, the slider, right? So you get, can go over to appearance and you can change the theme. So light theme, you will see that your eyes bleed. And if you go to dark theme, you see the actual good theme. Um, yeah, that's basically this section. You can click install and before you install, you will see that um, it, it just says that if you want, it will be on the blocks strap menu. It will be the first thing that comes up. So if you need something to change, it, it will be there. So if you click install, installing Roblox, and now we wait. Boom. In applying Roblox modifications and starting Roblox. And boom, you have Roblox. You can just start Roblox now. And you're starting Roblox. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a new custom thing. And it's so cool. RCO got me like 200 FPS and I just, if I do zero, you will see that it is doing pretty well. Uh, let's do max graphics. And yeah, it's still pretty good. It's 
it's far better than RCO. So yeah, if you like this like this video, um, go ahead and like it. Um, I hope I hope I showed you some cool stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching.